Set against the backdrop of World War II, Mr. Roberts remains a timeless classic that captures the essence of camaraderie, duty, and the human spirit. Directed by John Ford and Mervyn Leroy, this 1955 film follows the story of Lieutenant Douglas Roberts aboard a cargo ship in the Pacific, navigating the complexities of duty and longing for action on the front lines. It's a portrayal of the everyday struggles and aspirations of those away from the limelight of battle. A movie's enduring appeal lies in its ability to showcase the triumph of the human spirit amidst the mundane and the challenging. One might wonder about the scene that resonates, the moment that etches itself into memory. Perhaps it's Robert's unwavering dedication to his crew or the poignant portrayal of yearning for a purpose larger than life within the confined space of a ship. These moments echo themes of sacrifice, friendship, and the pursuit of purpose that remain impactful across generations. What renders this film an emblem of cinematic history? Its ability to encapsulate the human experience, to touch upon universal themes that transcend time and resonate with audiences across eras. Mr. Roberts endures as a symbol of storytelling prowess and a testament to the power of relatable narratives that stand the test of time. We're eager to hear your cherished memories or personal connections with this film. Share your stories and experiences in the comments below. They enrich the tapestry of our shared appreciation for this timeless piece of cinema. Mr. Roberts originated as a Tony Award-winning play penned by Thomas Hagen and Joshua Logan, later adapted into a film in 1955. Set during World War II, the story revolves around the crew of a cargo ship primarily focusing on Lieutenant Doug Roberts, played by Henry Fond, who longs to see action but finds himself stuck in a monotonous role aboard the ship, dealing with the tyrannical Captain Morton and dreaming of being transferred to a combat vessel. His aspirations clash with the realities of serving on a cargo ship, leading to conflicts with authority and a camaraderie with the crew, especially the eccentric Ensign Pulver, portrayed by Jack Lemmon in an Oscar-winning performance. The movie's poignant portrayal of the yearnings, frustrations, and camaraderie amidst wartime conditions struck a chord with audiences. Its blend of humor, drama, and a portrayal of the human spirit under duress left an enduring impact on popular culture, influencing subsequent works exploring the complexities of duty, friendship, and personal fulfillment in trying circumstances. Mr. Roberts remains a classic depiction of the human experience in the face of adversity, showcasing the resilience and camaraderie that emerges in challenging times. Thomas Hagen, author of the original novel that inspired the film, drew from his own time aboard the US Virgo during World War II. His first-hand experiences as a U.S. Navy lieutenant shaped the narrative of Mr. Roberts, capturing the essence of life on a cargo ship amidst the war's turmoil. The transition from page to screen saw alterations. John Ford, a Navy veteran himself, tailored the story for broader appeal by toning down its subversive elements, resulting in a lighter portrayal of the captain and an expanded role for Ensign Pulver. Henry Fonda's casting, designed to make him appear younger, led to older actors being chosen for surrounding roles. These decisions shaped the film's dynamic, offering a glimpse into wartime camaraderie and the complexities of duty through a lens crafted from authentic naval experiences. The 1955 film Mr. Roberts, directed by John Ford, held its own in the box office, securing the second highest grossing spot for the year, raking in an impressive $21.2 million. Only Lady and the Tramp outpaced it, pulling in nearly $66.4 million. Interestingly, Mr. Roberts was initially slated for a 3D production, but the demise of the trend at the time nixed that plan. John Ford's casting decisions played a pivotal role in the film's success. Jack Lemmon, who portrayed Ensign Frank Thurlow Pulver, landed the role after impressing Ford during a screen test for The Long Grey Line. This choice, combined with the strategic casting of Henry Fonda to appear younger, shaped the dynamic of the film, providing a unique lens into wartime camaraderie and the complexities of duty, all rooted in authentic naval experiences. The film, adapted from a Tony Award-winning play, captures the essence of life on a cargo ship during World War II, drawing from the first-hand experiences of Thomas Hagen, a U.S. Navy lieutenant aboard the US Virgo. The narrative unfolds against the backdrop of Lieutenant Doug Roberts' yearnings for action, his clashes with authority, and the camaraderie with the crew, particularly the eccentric Ensign Pulver. 
Mr. Roberts' enduring impact lies not only in its poignant portrayal of the human experience in the face of adversity, but also in the deft adjustments made during its transition from page to screen. The decisions made by John Ford and the alterations in casting brought a broader appeal to the film, resulting in a compelling exploration of duty, friendship, and personal fulfillment in challenging circumstances. In a parallel cinematic universe, the film could have been a 3D spectacle, but the demise of the trend redirected the focus to the rich narrative and character dynamics that defined Mr. Roberts. Filming Mr. Roberts brought unforeseen challenges that went beyond the cargo ship's decks. One notable incident involved the strained relationship between director John Ford and lead actor Henry Fonda. Their friendship of 16 years and collaboration on eight films hit a breaking point during the production. Ford's frustration escalated to the point where he reportedly punched Fonda in the mouth. This incident marked the end of their personal and professional partnership. Despite Ford's later apology, Fonda appeared in only one more Ford-directed film. Another intriguing aspect of the movie is its connection to the naval air station Midway. Some scenes were shot at this historic location, the last Allied-held base between Pearl Harbor and Japan at the outset of World War II. Midway Island witnessed one of the most significant naval air battles in history. John Ford, familiar with the island from his documentary The Battle of Midway, contributed to the film's authenticity. Furthermore, Thomas Hegan, author of the source material, served in the Navy at Midway during the war, adding a layer of first-hand experience to the narrative. Interestingly, John Ford's removal from the project had profound consequences. His dismissal led to personal turmoil marked by heavy drinking and hospitalization in Hawaii for alcohol poisoning. Although he managed to resume shooting interiors back in Hollywood, Ford's health soon deteriorated, requiring gallbladder surgery. This tumultuous period cast a shadow over the production and highlighted the challenges faced both on and off screen during the making of Mr. Roberts. In examining these behind the scenes events, we gain insight into the complexities that shaped the iconic 1955 film. From the strained relationship between Ford and Fonda to the historical significance of the filming location, these elements contribute to the unique backstory of Mr. Roberts. As we bid adieu to the cinematic voyage that is Mr. Roberts, let the echoes of laughter and the subtle tugs at your heart linger in the corridors of your memory. A tale woven with threads of camaraderie, duty, and the poignant dance of dreams on the seas of the South Pacific, Mr. Roberts resonates with the timeless rhythm of human connection. As you reflect upon the celluloid frames that etched themselves into your soul, consider the peculiar bond you forged with this classic gem. Perhaps it's the indomitable spirit of Lieutenant Roberts or the quirky antics of the crew that mirror the kaleidoscope of your own experiences. These are not merely characters on screen, they are vessels carrying fragments of your own narrative, navigating the sea of collective consciousness. So, here's your cue to share. Unleash the floodgates of your reflections. Dive into the sea of memories and retrieve the pearls of wisdom or the treasures of mirth that Mr. Roberts stirred within you. Was it the nuanced performances, the sea breeze that seemed to ruffle your hair, or the resonance of the narrative with your own journey? Your story, like the ripples in the ocean, adds to the ever-expanding legacy of Mr. Roberts. As we navigate the waters of nostalgia together, your thoughts become the wind in the sails of this cinematic vessel. Let your voice be heard, your sentiments shared. For in this communal exchange, the essence of Mr. Roberts finds new life, a perennial tale that transcends the confines of celluloid. Thank you, kindred spirit, for embarking on this reflective journey with me. Your time and thoughts are the compass that steers the course of our shared exploration into the realms of cinema's enduring magic. Until our narratives entwine once again, happy reminiscing, and may your memories of Mr. Roberts forever dance in the sea breeze of your consciousness.